This is how you play the 1, 3, 6, 4, 2, 5, 7, 1 chord progression in G major. Going to start on a G major chord in first inversion. To move to the 3, take the top note and move it down a half step. You'll notice that your two and three fingers in your right hand are kind of crowded, so go ahead and replace your two with your three. And that brings you to the three chord, B minor, B, D, F sharp. To get to your six chord, you're going to keep that bottom note and move the top two up to the next notes in the G major scale. So middle note goes up a whole step, top note goes up a half step, to B, E, G. E minor, the sixth chord. All right, let's go back to the one, to the three, to the six. All right, to get to your four, you're gonna take your bottom note and move it up a half step. And you'll notice that your left hand two and three are kind of crowded. So replace your two with your three finger. And that brings you to C, E, G. C major, which is the four chord. To get to your two chord, take your top note, move it up a step, and you'll notice that your three and five are really strained right now in your right hand, so replace your three with your two finger. And this brings you to the A minor chord in first inversion, C, E, A, which is the two chord. All right, let's go back to one, to three, to six, to four, to two. Now to get to your five, seven, you can take your middle note and move it down a step. Or if you want to include all four notes from the five, seven chord, you can take your middle note and split it down and up. Notice I'm using the F sharp from the G major key signature. And that takes us to C, D, F sharp, and A, which is the D7 chord, which is the 5-7. And then at the end, go back to 1. Let's practice going from the 2 chord to that 5-7. Let's try it with just three notes. Alright, go back to your two. Now let's try it with all four notes. And then go back to one. Let's practice this a few different ways. First, let's say the, the moves. One, two, ready, go. Top moves down. Top two move up. Now let's go through and say the Roman numerals, because that stays the same in every key, just like the moves do. One, two, starting on one six, going to three, now to six, now to four, going to two, five, seven, Now to prep us to go to the bass line part, let's do the parallel one more time, but this time saying the chord names. One, two, ready, go. G major, B minor, E minor, C major, A minor, D7, G major. Now we're going to say those chord names again, but this time we're really saying it for our left hand because any time that we say a root, that's what the left hand is playing. So when we say G major, left hand's going to play a G. When we say B minor, left hand's going to play a B, and so on. So start right hand the way it's been going. 
and saying our chord names so left hand knows what bass to play. One, two, three, four, G major. to the parallel and we're going to see how exam ready we are by playing along with a metronome. And whenever we play with the metronome we, sorry it's making me answer all these questions, we're just listening to make sure that we're with the click. Hold each chord for two counts. So, um, okay let's change the time signature to four. One, two, chords in both hands. Sorry, we'll start that again. Back to G major and first inversion. One, two, ready, go. Baseline. One, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 